Alright guys, it's Game Boy Luke here and welcome back to the uh, Pokemon Emerald Extreme Randomizer. I left you guys off here uh, as we went to choose our starter Pokemon. You guys have been voting over the last couple days about which starter we should pick. Uh, it's looking kind of close, honestly, uh, but before I go ahead and choose the starter Pokemon that you guys have voted for, please go ahead and click the like button down below if you're excited to see some more Emerald Extreme Randomizer. I know we haven't seen quite how uh, extremely randomized this game is quite yet, but I'm sure you guys are gonna enjoy this. So we had the choice of Vaporeon, uh, Vigoroth, and Magby, and I said to you guys, it would probably be a cool idea if we got Magby, uh, just because uh, he's, he's one that evolves the earliest. And I'm not sure how the randomizer works in terms of evolutions or Pokemon that fully evolved. Like, I don't know if they can evolve again. I don't know how, because like, I don't, there are different ways you can randomize it, and I don't know if I checked that option or what. Um, and I want you guys to know, hella close results. Magby, or well actually, in last place we have Vigoroth, who had uh, 160 votes, which I was actually kind of hyped for. I kind of wanted to use Vigoroth. Next, we have Vaporeon with like 240 votes, and then Magby with like 260. So Magby and uh, Vaporeon are pretty damn close. Uh, I didn't really want to pick Ma uh, Vaporeon because I've used Vaporeon twice in like the last two series. But we have your boy, we have your boy Magby. And I guess uh, we're going to have to see... We're gonna, we're gonna have to nickname Magby Titdog. I think I'll, 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 I would make a lot of people upset if we did not name Magby Titdog. So first things first. It's relaxed nature, has white smoke, preventing its grass ability to It's grass and ground. With energy powder. Earthquake glare, mudshot, and frenzy <laughs> Yo, this thing's gonna kill me. I have a quad, I have quad weakness to, I have so many weaknesses, ground and grass. I don't know what's super effective against what. That's neutral. You're dead. Oh my goodness. We have to be careful of bug, ice, fire, flying, poison. Actually, not poison. Uh, yo, that's crazy. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm like running through this, like reading it. So, Luke, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet, but the way you battled earlier, you pulled off with, that, with a, pl a plume, a prom. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. And yes, as thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have this Pokemon you used earlier. Yay, Magby. Wait, actually, I can't name it Titduck. And I shouldn't name it Titduck, because I shouldn't name any Pokemon based off the Pokemon they are now, because when they evolve, they're going to evolve into a different species. So... Am I just gonna have to give my team like completely normal names? Uh, should I just call him B? I'm gonna call him B, dude. I'm calling this Mag B B. Mag B B. All right, let's go see May. We'll, we'll go see May. Uh, I'm really, really scared. And just as a, a friendly reminder to everybody, um, we don't have uh, we are with the Nuzlocke rules haven't come into play yet because we haven't obtained Pokeballs. So if we encounter a Pokemon just now. Like right the second, like in this grass, then it doesn't count as our encounter because we haven't. Well, never mind. It doesn't count as our encounter because we haven't got Pokeballs yet. So the Nuzlocke hasn't technically started, and it would be unfair if it counted as our encounter because I haven't, I haven't got the chance to get Pokeballs yet. So let's keep on shimmying. We haven't encountered a single Pokemon. Although I'm kind of uh, maybe we should get a level before facing May because I have no idea what she's gonna have. So let's just uh, let's just go ahead and do this. I found a Gulpin. So I have to go against, although, like, my inner, like, Pokemon knowledge is, like, Earthquake it. It's super effective. And it's super effective. I'll take it. Maybe it's, maybe it changed to a fire type or something. I guess I should, I, I kind of, yeah, I'm going to get myself level 6 before I face off against May. Because I have no idea what she has. I don't know what, what type she has. She could have an ice type or a water fucking whatever. And I'll get, end up getting bodied. Now, one thing I have to remember about this game also is I don't believe there's a physical special split, so Mudshot is also like a physical move in this game. Just because the physical special split was never uh, brought into it. I wonder if they could implement that into the randomizer. If the designer of the randomizer is watching this video, you should definitely try and import that, because that'd be, that'd be kind of cool, like adding physical special split to Generations 3. Because Fire, no Fire Red and Emerald uh, and Ruby and Sapphire don't have the, uh, the, the physical special split. And it's really confusing because you think, oh yeah, Mudshot, special move. And then you go back to Gen 3 and it's like, wait, no, it's not a special move. It's definitely a physical move in this game because they're, they're separated by type, which is so confusing. I don't know why they did that in the first place. Like, if you're using Night Slash, that should always be a physical move. No, never special. Line Noon? Okay. 
Um, what type are you, buddy? Oh, fire type. You're about to cast. Oh, that's super effective against me. <laughs> okay. Like I said, Nuzlocke doesn't start until I get Pokeballs. So fortunately, we're good. But that right there is the reason why this Nuzlocke is going to be so difficult. Because we don't know the types, we don't know what moves they're gonna have. I don't even know if we can get through this, actually. I I'm really, really worried. Like, note to self. I mean, I can't even run away from Linoon. Linoon is like so fast, so how am I supposed to get away from it? And why are there no Pokemon showing up here? What is going on? I've never walked through here and like, not encountered something. Grovile. Okay, that seems like a good Pokemon to kind of just bump into right about now, but... And we're faster than that, which is a good sign. And it's neutral. And it's dead. Alright, let me give me give me this level give me this level six real quick. Give me this level six real quick. I have no idea how the movesets have changed either. Like this is such a fresh experience. I'm actually excited, but I'm also really scared. Like, okay, so we also have to like bear in mind that we have to we have to remember which types what our Pokemon what Pokemon types are are what. So like Gulpin was weak to ground. We have Linoon who was a, a fire type for sure. So Gulpin's typing could be poison, rock, or fire, or electric. So like we have to just like there's, there's gonna be a mental database, like a database in my head for each Pokemon. This, she has Vigoroth. She took Vigoroth. She took the one I kind of low key wanted. Uh, I guess I could just earthquake it. It's dragon. Oh my god, I'm so dead. This, if this doesn't kill, I'm dead. Snap! Okay, uh... Again, probably gonna die here, because I don't- Oh, I have a potion. I need to- I need them to, 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 like, only get two outrages. Hit yourself in confusion. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. I'm just gonna have Earthquake so early on. Please hit yourself. Please hit your- Yes! Oh my goodness, okay, okay, good, 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 good. Get out of my way, Vigoroth. Whoo! Whoo! Okay, that was scary. That was close. Give me that experience, though. Level 7. Poison Fang? What in the world? Alright, Frenzy Plant's a good move and all, right? It's the only stab grass move I have. I want to keep Glare, because that's really good. And it has 100 accuracy in this game, so I'm not going to miss it. Um, Frenzy Plant, uh, I want to get rid of that. Water, I'm not really necessarily weak to water, necessarily. Ah, oh, Poison Fang is good. I mean, it's not very strong, but it's good coverage. And it doesn't miss as well. Because uh, if I come up against a Grass type, I literally have nothing for it. So maybe I'll get rid of I'll get rid of Mudshot. We have Earthquake, so why not? Let's just get rid of this. The more moves, the better, actually. The more coverage we have, the better. Be an experience. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Wow, that's great, Luke. You're pretty good. I mean, you, you almost beat me. I'm actually really lucky you didn't kick my ass there. I mean, you just got that Pokemon that really likes you. You might be able to befriend any kind of Pokemon easily. Well, it's time to head back to the lab. All right, luckily, we don't have to encounter any Pokemon. We can just run this way now. And I do believe uh, we, we pretty much get Pokeballs now. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I believe. I do believe. Pokeballs are obtained right about now. Let's see. I just noticed my webcam's flickering a little bit. I don't know if I can fix that. Like every time I face forward, it starts flickering. So uh, I may have to fix that. I, you probably don't even notice it because it's so small on the screen, but it's bothering me. Oh, hey, Luke. I heard that you've been May on your first try. That's excellent. My first... I did, didn't I? I did. May's been helping my with my research for a long time. He has an extensive history as a trainer already. Yes, she only has a level 5 Pokemon. Here, Luke. I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. Ooh. Look at this high tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My kid May goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokemon and records his data in the Pokedex, why? May uh, looks for me while I'm out doing field work and shows me. Oh, well, Luke, you got a Pokedex too. That's great, just like me. I've got something for you too. Nuzlocke run initiated. It's uh, it's all about to start now. This means we can finally catch some power. Thanks for the, 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 the shits, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'ma use them. Yo, what's up? Wait, Luke. 
Look, look, did you introduce yourself to Fred's Birch? But uh, here you go, have the running shoes. Bobbly boobly, switch out those shoes because you need certain shoes to run in this game. I don't know why. Uh, it's a thing. It shouldn't be, but it is. I think I turned on like a thing. There's a bit of code I turned on, which allows me to run inside rooms, which anyone's played third gen, they know that's annoying. I can run inside. How insane is that? Like, I'm breaking all laws of physics of Generation 3. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's great. All right, we're here. All right, one thing I need to do. Let me just back out of this. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Give me this, give me this. I want this. All right, I, I need to heal up. I'm not, I'm, actually no, screw it. We can, we can make it to the next area without finding a Pokemon. There we go, look at that. That grass is like no encounters, it's ridiculous. Running in the, that's so weird. That's so weird being able to run inside a Pokemon Center. <laughs> That's so strange. I'm not used to that at all. Okay. Let me head sooth. Let me head sooth. I want to see what we got here. What are we working with? We found the Grovar. The Grovar was here, which wouldn't be a bad Pokemon to have either, except he evolves kind of late. But is it bad that I low key want Wurmple? It could evolve into freaking anything. Oh, this grass has actually got nothing in it. Are you crazy? Thank you. A Shed Ninja. That's really bad because you don't have, you don't have a uh, Wonder Guard. So you're a one hit point Shedinja without Wonder Guard. So, I mean, I can, tr I can throw up a, I has one, one hit point. I can try and catch it. If it doesn't catch, I'm just not going to do it. Like, it's literally going to be the most useless Pokemon because it doesn't have Wonder Guard anymore. So it has base one hit point. At the same time, are you kidding me? At the same time, it might be good for fodder, but like, unless this thing is Okoing everything, it's pretty much useless. All right. Okay, well, let me just... Let me just demonstrate real quick. Let me just go ahead and earthquake it. It's just gone. One hit point. Challenger, the most useless, but I, want, I wanted to catch it just so if we encounter it again, then I could say, oh, I already have one. But uh, clearly running out of Pokeballs pretty damn quick there. And um, I hope we don't encounter that Lion Noon again. I hope we don't encounter that Lion Noon again. He was scary. Blaze kicking me? Can you imagine a ferret blaze kicking you? With his stumpy little feet? Uh, I don't mess with that. Alright, hold up. How many Pokeballs? We're gonna buy nine? Yeah, I'm telling you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sell this energy powder. How much does it sell for? 250? Don't know if that was worth it. Uh, how many potions do we have? One. I want the Premier Ball. I wanted that Premier Ball bonus. Never mind. Uh, let's buy three of these. Okay, so we only have like seven Pokeballs, which is kind of crappy in a Pokemon randomizer, honestly. Like, we're gonna... And I guess that's because I, um, I whited out. I lost a lot of money from whiting out, so... I'm a little bit, like, lackluster on the dollar right now, so... Let's see. We found a Relicanth. Again, dude, if you have Ice Beam, I'm dead. So I need to up my team. I need to up my squad. Let me glare you. It doesn't affect Relicanth. He's a ghost type. Okay, he's a ghost poison type. If it poisons me, I can't stay in here. Okay. Uh, ghost poison. Uh, if I earthquake, you're gonna die. I can't catch. Ah! It's so annoying. I can't catch these things. And again, I don't I wanna waste my Pokeballs because I don't have I have like seven. I have like seven Pokeballs. I can't waste them, otherwise I can't catch a single Pokemon. I can't earthquake Relicanth and kill it. I guess I could I guess I could have earthquaked it and see what happened, but like. At the same time, if he's ghost poison, that's quad resisted. It's not going to do anything, and I can't poison him to reduce his health. Like, this is going to be so stressful. I can already tell this this lock is going to be ridiculous. And I have to fight this. I should have gone... Was, this, was that grass up north? Or was that just an Aorus? I don't remember, actually. Metacam. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm actually dead. I'm actually going to die right here. Uh, What did I have? What did, what's, I have white smoke. Um... Should I just earthquake it and just hope? Oh, we're faster than it. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. 
It's resisted! It's bug? It's a bug type. I can't escape now. Uh, let me poison fang it. Arr. Neutral. Get the poison, get the poison. No. No, not silver wind, that's super effective! Oh, if he'd done that from the start, bro, I would've been donezo. I would've been donezo. I have so many weaknesses! <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, that's fine. As long as Magby can continue to gain levels and just experience in general, then we can pretty much just gem one everything and earthquake every single Pokemon we, we encounter. Like, I'm gonna have to keep running to and from this Pokemon. This Pokemon Center is like my second home. Literally gonna be my second home. If he'd sober with me twice, I would be game. <clears throat> that would have been the end of everything. Okay. <sighs> this game gives me anxiety. I've never experienced a Pokemon game like this. Okay. Let's see. What is in this grass? A Kingler. Okay, Kingler's got really freaking good defense. So, I'm not angry. I'm not upset. Uh, I can poison fang it and see what we get. Hashtag bars. Let me glare it though. Let me, make, let me paralyze it. It's going to make it so much easier to catch Pokemon. What have you got for me, Kingler? It can't move. Okay, I, I want to poison fang it, but I don't at the same time. I don't want to kill it. I don't know how much. I mean, it's got good defense. I'm talking about. I can poison fang it all I wanted to. I'm going to have to, I think. Spit up. All right, come here. Okay, it's resisted. That's perfect. It's Volt. It's, it's Volt. It's got Volt Tackle. Bruh. Okay, stay paralyzed. So he's an electric type. Electric normal, maybe? I don't know. I'm trying to make a guess based off what moves he was using. There's the Volt Tackle again. Hmm. Also, he's resisting it, so he has to be electric ground or something like that. Let me see. I want to poison it again if I can. I don't know. I don't want to kill it, though. No. <laughs> no. Please do not. Should I attack it one more time? Oh my god, okay. Red health, red health, red health. Oh, he has Earthquake! He's, yeah, he's ground electric, he's ground electric. Okay. I got scared because I got Earthquake is a scary move and I'm a fire type. Like, I instantly thought, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, but it's okay because I'm, I resist. I resist ground moves. Stay in the ball. This just means that we have a bit of an ice type weakness, but. Come on. Let's let you know that I can't do any more damage to you. I'm like, this is all I can do. Pound. Pound me all you want, daddy. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. <sighs> we have two balls left and... A funny feeling we're not gonna get this guy in a Pokeball. Yep, one more. Lend me your energy. Lend me your energy. Are you fucking... Bless up! Thank you so much for your energy. <laughs> We got your boy Kingler. I'm gonna call him uh Cookie. Cookie Cookie. Alright, hold the phone. What what ability does this man have? His jolly nature. Oh. And it has uh oh well Volt Tackle's a special move But he's a um own tempo with a ground electric ground electric with earthquake pound spit up aim volt tackle. Now, again, Kingler is such a Defensive monster. Great physical defense. Um, I imagine he would be a very good uh, asset to the team. It just sucks that we have two ground types now. Um, and again, wow. We have we have a Volt Tackle, which isn't a great move because it's going to give me a bunch of recoil, but we have an answer to flying types, I guess, to a certain degree. But let's get, let's get Guke. Let's get Guke up front and we'll, uh, we will progress and see if he can't slay them bitches. What's up, buddy? Ha ha! Our eyes met! I'll take you on my bug-type Pokemon! 
Okay. Okay, Rick. Dust clubs. I am just gonna earthquake you and see where we go. Super effective, super effective, super effective. Oh, neutral. Oh, damage. Oh, Giga Drain. Badness. No, no, no. Oh my. Fuck me. If he's a grass type, that's kind of wild. He must be like grass electric or something because should have been super effective. Or he's dragon type. I don't know. Um, all right, let me earthquake you instead. I know, I, I know Kingle is stronger, so. Oh, hell no. I'm level eight. Magby's taking lives. Hey, level four. Mmm. A little, Ma little Magby put in the work right now. Uh, look at this Magnemite. Okay, hold up. Pause. What is this thing? What is this thing? I'm just earthquake. Earthquake everything at this point. Why not? Am I right? Earthquake bodies everything. I don't care if you resist it, okay? I just, just bam, dead. Good night. I'm here till Thursday. Ow, down and out. Oh, dude, you remember that? Is that from Pokemon Stadium? It's like, it's down and down. I don't know. That sounds like a, that sounds like a, a, a thing the narrator used to say in Pokemon Stadium. I don't know. But regardless, I think I'm going to end this episode off here. If you guys are excited for this extreme random randomization, what in randomization? <laughs> I mean, it's been kind of crazy so far. We've had some uh, pretty cool Pokemon. And we've seen some pretty cool Pokemon. I'm really looking forward to the fact that we could potentially find a Pokemon that evolves into Mew, okay? There's Chikorita on this route. Like, that's kind of, that interests me. Like, in the evolutions, like, it's going to be like a game of like, do I push B or do I not? Like, as soon as something starts evolving, like, and you see like the, the sprite is evolving into and you're like, oh my god, oh my god. Like, I don't know. But again, if you guys have enjoyed uh, this episode, please do leave a like rating down below. It means uh, a great deal to me and uh, it makes you a super awesome person. Thank you so much for your support on this series so far. And I will see you guys next time.